Hey guys, this is another um, simple install. Well, I say simple install, basically, it was an, actually an upgrade, not a full from scratch install by myself. This had a Plector Labs Prism 5.1 in it with a Tricree, and the customer with a limited budget um, wanted an upgrade to the Crystal Focus 10 and NeoPixel. Um, probably can't see the NeoPixel pogos in there, but I'll demo it with the blade anyway, so it doesn't really matter. <coughs> so yeah, basically consisted of um, dismantling the sabre, pulling the chassis out, removing the Prism 5.1 and fitting the CFX. Now the chassis that's in it is the chassis that was made for the Prism 5.1 and as far as I know there's no available adapter for the CFX 10 at the moment <clears throat> so basically what I had to do was use a little bit of tactical hot glue down one side of the board and yes you can use hot glue sometimes as long as you're not throwing it everywhere all over the place <clears throat> so there's the CFX 10 fitted and basically hot glued along one side to take up the slack in the chassis where the board's narrower and there's a tiny little bit of hot glue just underneath the board on this side to hold the board stable and stop it from moving simple as that other than that it was a case of redoing some of the wires um, like the wires for the auxiliary and the uh, power switch <clears throat> Power switch is there, auxiliary is on top. I had had to um, remove some silicon that was underneath this. Completely <clears throat> wasn't needed to be underneath it. It was irrelevant. It works smoother without it. It was. Um, it started gumming it up, and the switch started sticking when I put the saber back together. So I don't know why they put silicon underneath it in the first place because it doesn't need it because the cap is held in from underneath. It's got an edge around it that stops it from falling out. So that was completely pointless why that was done. It's a um, Goth 3D chassis that came with it. The other thing obviously that I had to do was upgrade the battery from the standard 18650 to the high amp 18650 from KR Sabres. <coughs> speakers the two watt vico bass speaker that everyone knows um other than that power switches on the end now what i have done is there's pre wires here for bluetooth module to go in so these wires are just tucked down the back they can be pulled out and then the bluetooth module can be fitted at um, any time if he wants to upgrade it but yeah that's um pretty much it so I'll just get to the demo in now then, um, put it back together and they put way too many threads on these when they make them <clears throat> absolutely pommels come off on these Um, just running the stock CFX or CF10, whichever you want to call it, <clears throat> sound fonts. Um, customers quite happy to change the sound fonts himself. He's um, more than capable of doing it as he's had sabers for a while. Sounds nice. Obviously, this font doesn't display the smooth swing quite so um, good as others. Can hear it just. And obviously, the auxiliary. Change fonts, it's easier on the CFX than the previous boards. Just hold the button. Sound bank selection. Nightfall. 
Crystal Focus. Nebula. Granny. Basically, that sound font has no smooth swing effect at all on it. It's just old school, designed for the older boards, obviously. Right, I'll um, just pause this and I'll get a blade. So, blade's fitted now. <coughs> Sound bank selection. Revolt. Shadow point. The force on these two. Does the weather ever get better here? Kill the freak! It's the clone! Obviously, <clears throat> for blade colour changing, augs and power button. So, um, there you have it. There's the blader, uh, blader. There's the Vader MPP um, replica Corbanth 2.0, I believe it was. Um, CFX upgrade from Prism 5.1. Thanks for watching, guys.